Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo. So today it's Flat Top Friday. We've had a crazy week. How do I know? Just because we always have a crazy week. <laughs> well, this is pre-recorded, so that's why I say that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, today we got a Flat Top Friday, and uh, it's pretty cool, pretty special. And uh, Jen's coming back next week, so... Yeah. Oh, Norm's uh, at the guitar show right now. Norm is at the guitar show right now. I wonder yes. what he's getting. Maybe Jazz Masters. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm sure he's getting a bunch of cool stuff, and then we're gonna have to fit it somewhere back here. Where? Nowhere. There's no room, but he's gonna do it anyway. And he's, you know, we're all maniacs, brainiacs, as <laughs> Norm would say. Uh, but uh, we're, I know we're gonna have a bunch of cool stuff, so that'll be fun. So it's kind of like a, a fresh start. Jen's coming back, new guitars. I'm moving to Tarzana. Oh. So it's gonna be that's a whole where new all thing. the hipsters are. Yeah. The yeah. old hipsters. <laughs> the yuppies. <laughs> I think that's what you call a, a senior hipster. <laughs> I could be wrong. That could have been the worst thing I could have just said. I'm gonna look it up after. I hope I didn't offend anyone. <laughs> but anyway. It's Flat Top Friday. It's Flat Top Friday. Let's see what we got. Come on back. So this is a very special guitar. This is a late 30s. J35. Whoa. <laughs> this is what happens when we do them that fast. Okay, so it's a uh, amazing guitar. Let's check it out. Let me. Uh... <laughs> Why are you still looking at me, Jeff? <laughs> it's okay if the tag's on the. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so it's, in the, it. it's, it's in the original it. natural finish. Uh, so this guitar came in two. Uh, finishes. It was uh, natural and the sunburst uh, to begin with. Um, and this is a pre-war Gibson. Um, so pretty crazy. It's got the fire stripe pick guard and uh, it's right before the teardrop pick guard that they switched over to. Um, so this is the predecessor to the J45 um, and this is right around Martin prime time. So this was competing with the D18s, the D28s, some of the most amazing stuff that also Martin put out. So this is kind of prime time for Acousticville. <laughs> but uh, beautiful uh, back and sides, so it's mahogany back and sides, and a spruce top, um, you know, exactly what you want. And then it's got the script logo, uh, sort of silk screened Gibson logo. Um, and there's no binding on this guitar, which I, I actually personally like. It's pretty uh, raw, bare bones, but the pearl dot inlays. Um, but this guitar, it's just got a gorgeous sound, and um, one of the first guitars actually Bobby Bob Dylan had. Um, but uh, really easy to play, uh, uh, friendly neck, and uh, just an overall amazing guitar. So we're gonna take this one out front and see what it's got. All right, we're out front with the late '30s Gibson J35. Uh, we're gonna start off in a tuning which is open G, and the B goes down to a G as well. Uh, so check it out. We'll start with the pick. Try uh, a little bit of um, without the pick, so here we go.
Cool. Last but not least, uh, we'll kind of do a hybrid of all the above. Here yeah. We There you have it, the late 30s Gibson J35. Um, thank you guys for uh, sticking around and watching all these episodes. I really appreciate it, and uh, it's been an honor to do this. Um, so you can check out these guitars at normansrareguitars.com and also on Instagram and Facebook at Normans Rare Guitars. I'm your host, Mike Lemo. I'm always glad to be here, and I will see you tomorrow for Saturday. Bye.